Hello everyone, today I will introduce row management function. With, with this function, we could create different accounts to others such as engineer and uh, customer and assign different permissions to these accounts. There are two similar functions on our VNet, account management and role management. Role management was was released later with more complex function, so we recommend users to use this function. As for account management, because there are still some users using this function, so we didn't delete it. And if we want to use row function, we need to add one row first. Uh, here are two rows I had before. In this screen, we could assign Vbox permissions or HMI permissions to this row. And, and please pay attention to this function. If we choose this one, then the sub-account can also create another sub-account. There are up to four levels of accounts can be created and up to 100 accounts of the same level, such as this one, up to four levels. Uh, now let's add one new row. And uh, select the permissions we want to give to this row. Here I only here I only select real-time data and the historical data. As for real-time data, it could only read and uh, this account can't create a sub-account. Save settings. After build one new row, we need to create account and uh, choose the row of this uh, account. Choose this one new account name. Password six seven. Okay. Now let's log in our sub account. Oh, sorry. We didn't assign assign Vbox to this account. Here. After create account, we need to assign device to this account. Click here and uh, assign device. In my, my in my mind account, here are two VBOX. And I select SNG to to assign to this account. Click OK. Now Log in our sub account again. Now we could see the V box we assigned just now. And uh, here, real time data and the historical data is normal. We could we could add new tags and. Uh, we could set in a group, add a new group, also in historical data. We could add a new historical, we could add a group, historical group, and then add a new historical tags. But in a run, here we can't add a new, add a new alarm tags. 
and uh, such as Lua script. Then we also count add uh, script. And then uh, in real time data, we could only read the value, but, but we can't write it. Now return to our main account. And lastly, if we, wa if we want to delete the, the account, we must uh, ensure that there is no device bind to this sub-account. For example, here are SNG bind to this account, so I can't delete it. We need to unlink the, the, unlink the device first. And now I can delete this account, sub account. And also, we need to ensure that the account have no sub account, or we can't delete it too, such as this one. This account have have three levels accounts, and. Uh, each sub account can only be deleted by the up level account. For example, if we want to delete delete this account, we need to log in this account to delete delete it. Okay, that's all. Thank you for your listening.